I've got some awesome tech products to showcase this week and they've got one big thing in common. I'd say it's a pretty clear trend. So I was gonna start this video with a joke about transparent technology, but let's be honest, you probably have seen right through it. I'm really sorry. I promise that's the last joke I'm gonna make about transparency in this video. Anyway, I've been really interested to see an emerging trend in the tech world, and it's actually a bit of a throwback. So I was born in the early 80s, so a lot of my formative years fell in the glorious 90s, which, let's be honest, was a pretty awesome era. The music, the clothes, and yes, the tech. Back then, it was really common to own a see-through Game Boy or transparent phones, you know, the kind with the actual cables, or in the late 90s, we saw the original colour-themed iMac with this funky translucent panelling. And yes, we even had an annoying little pocketable Tamagotchi pet. RIP. Fast forward to the 2020s, and along with 90s fashion making a bit of a comeback, we've seen a real trend for see-through tech emerging lately. Being able to see the inner workings of a tech item is like stepping into a secret dimension where the laws of technology and engineering reveal their secrets in all their glorious detail. And the big question here I have is to what extent some of these are fully transparent versus kind of translucent. We're going to come back to that question in a bit. Now today I found some of the best transparent tech to showcase for you and I've linked pretty much everything down in the description below if you want to go check these out for yourselves. So first up we've got one of two super cool mechanical keyboards I wanted to show you today and they're both quite different. This is the Phantom 81 V2 from Keyboom. I presume that's how you've got to say it. And as you can see, pretty much everything about this, apart from this twiddly little knob, is see-through. It comes in a bunch of colours, including pink, blue, and purple, but I went for the full see-through effect with the clear option, and although I wouldn't normally use this word to describe a keyboard, I actually think this is kind of beautiful. It almost looks like something you should have on display in a cabinet somewhere. Let's rattle through some of the main features. So if you like lights on a keyboard, Happy days, you got them. You get south-facing LEDs, which give a very futuristic vibe. Now, I'm not much of a fan of lights on keyboards, but I do like how this changes the look of things and gives you some nice illumination if you're a bit of a night owl. It's also hot swappable, so you can mod this out with different keycaps and switches. And in terms of connectivity, you get Type-C wired, Bluetooth, and also 2.4G wireless modes out of the box. And it's compatible with both Mac and Windows machines. It's also really heavy, so once it's on your desk, it's not moving anywhere and if you ever had an intruder in your house I reckon you could probably seriously maim maybe even kill someone if you had to use this as a weapon it's also gasket mounted which is basically like having the key sit on a little suspension frame you get a particular sound and feel with gasket mounted boards and let me tell you I like it I like it a lot and this is what it sounds like to type on Next up, we've got these wireless earbuds by Beats. So I think it's fair to say that Apple's AirPods, whether it's the Pro or the standard versions, have really dominated the market when it comes to true noise cancelling in-ear buds, but they're not super resilient and they're a bit bland to look at. Enter Apple's other headphone brand, Beats, and the latest version of their in-ear headphones called the Studio Beats Plus. Yeah, that's the plus symbol, by the way. I don't really have anything else to add. And again, these come in a range of colour options, but the transparent one really caught my eye. Just have a look at this. Now, it's up for debate whether you would call these transparent or translucent. I'll leave that for you to sort out in the comments, but this is a really good looking case. And as well as comfortably fitting in your pocket or bag, this charging case will give these earbuds 36 hours of total battery life. And even just a five minute charge is gonna give you one hour of playback time when your batteries are running low. Now, the buds themselves carry across quite a few of the AirPods features, including the Find My device integration, one-touch pairing, automatic switching between Apple devices, and voice assistance. But maybe we shouldn't talk about how helpful Siri actually is, eh? Come on, Apple. Give us a proper AI assistant, please. Oh, and you also get a six month of Apple Music included with the purchase, which is pretty cool. So focusing on the buds themselves, they're a really comfortable fit and they give you active noise cancelling, plus a transparency mode so you can hear what's going on around you, plus these acoustic vents, which improve the precision of the audio and help relieve pressure building up if you're the kind of person who likes to keep your earbuds in most of the day. Now, interestingly, they also support Dolby Atmos and spatial audio, which if you haven't tried it, has to be heard to be understood. Stood. It's essentially like having a surround sound experience where if you move your head, the earbuds will track where they are relative to where the music or film or TV show you're listening to is coming from. It's really cool and super immersive and a great feature to have 
in some headphones this size. So for me, I'm pretty much welded to my AirPods Pro Gen 2, but considering Studio Beats Plus are almost $100 cheaper, I'm really surprised by how good these are. And I think they're really well priced for things like exercise and gym use with good IPX ratings for sweat and also water resistance. In fact, I probably only recommend buying the AirPods Pro over these if you're bothered about wireless charging or having that deep Apple integration with the benefits of the H2 chip. Both of those are AirPods only features. So next up, let's take a look at this other keyboard in the showcase. And this is a very different vibe to the other one we looked at. So this is the Melgeek Mojo 84, and this is a totally unique looking 84 keyboard. And I'm just gonna say it, I get that this bold look isn't for everyone, but man, I really, really like this. I like it a lot. There are so many little details that are gonna make they stand out on any desk from the custom keycap design and the super bold black and white typeface and this little tab around the back here. It just kind of puts the fun in something that should be purely functional. And as you'd expect with a keyboard that looks like this, it's got massive battery, all the usual connection mechanisms. It's hot swappable. It works across Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android or iOS. And interestingly, you can connect up to eight devices to this one keyboard. Pretty impressive. And you can also alter the programming. I had to delve into the software when it arrived to give me some controls back for things like volume control, uh, desktop shortcuts, and also making this key into the command key for my normal Mac shortcuts to work. It's really straightforward to do, and you've got this whole row of F keys that you can play with if you don't want to mess around too much with the standard layout. Plus, if you like lights, you get these two, and you get eight different types, and then the ability to set multiple colors and rhythms up. Definitely a unique addition to your desk. So the Mojo 84 is also gasket mounted. It combines with a pour on mat, foam, and a silicon pad that gives a beautiful bounce and a lovely dampened typing sound. Here's a little typing test for you ASMR fans. And just FYI, there are a bunch of switches available. This one has the pre-lubed Kale Box plastic switches installed. So this next item is probably the latest addition to my filming setup on the channel. I recently picked up the Osmo Pocket 3 from DJI, which is a little handheld full frame camera for vlogging. And you may not realize actually quite a bit of this very video has been filmed using this little beauty. I'm gonna do a full review on this soon, but the camera isn't what I wanted to talk about. It's actually this extra accessory. So I picked up the Creator Combo Bundle, which comes with a bunch of useful, in my opinion, pretty essential accessories, including this little wonder, the DJI Mic 2. So I've been using the original DJI Mic pretty extensively since it came out. It's a cool little wireless mic and receiver set that charges in this little case, and it works really well for filming on location and doing interviews, etc. And the first thing you notice when you're comparing Mic 1 versus Mic 2 is that, well, this new mic is pretty transparent, partly, anyway. And the best thing about it is, if you're using it with this gimbal, it doesn't actually need a receiver. You just switch it on and it pairs automatically and you're off away with some decent sounding audio. Yeah, so here I am wandering around in what could only be described as a gale with this little dead kitten on to guard against any wind noise. It's pretty windy and gusty today. Um, you can see this, this tree behind me really is really going for it. Um, but I think actually the sound is pretty good and with a little bit of post-processing it's going to be cleaned up really nicely. So you can use the clip to attach it to straps or clothing, or you can use the magnet here to pass it under your clothes and then just have it kind of float there if there's not too much to clip to. So there are a couple of cool features that most people aren't talking about yet. So first of all, the range on this thing is absolutely wild. I'm just gonna go for a bit of a stroll so you can see how much of this picks up while I just have a little wander around. Here we go. Goodness me, it's so windy today. This is easily sort of far enough away for it to be weird. Also, whilst you can just connect it and then trust the wireless connection will mean the camera will record and save the audio, it also has an onboard 11 gigabytes worth of storage at 32-bit quality. So if you wanna have just a trusty backup, it'll see you right now. If any of you have got your own channels, I promise you one of the worst feelings in the world is going out to record all day and then coming back to find a completely blank audio track. Yeah, I only made that mistake once before making sure I had some fail safes built 
in. So yeah, you just plug the USB-C cable in and you've got your audio files sat right there. And if you don't like having one of these on you and visible, you can also take off this dead cat and pop on a more subtle lav mic into this port here and then hide it away somewhere. Now I was actually out covering a conference last week and this was all I took with me for my coverage and interviews. People actually couldn't believe how neat the setup was. And yeah, this new mic is absolutely top notch. Now the big question is, how long is this see-through part gonna last before I drop it and break it? Watch this space. Next up, and this is a pre-release, you're gonna be among the first to see this online. This is a USB-C smart hub from DotCase. Now I know USB hubs sound about as interesting as sorting a bag of assorted screws by size and shape, but hear me out, you don't wanna sleep on this one. So this is a six in one hub that gives you a gigabit ethernet port, HDMI 4K output at 60 Hertz, USB power delivery 3.0 at 100 Watts, and a cheeky USB-A port for all you 90s kids. Oh, and it also comes with a 1.4 inch HD screen built in, which displays all the peripherals connected and then intelligently adjusts parameters to maximize compatibility and throughput. It's actually kind of mesmerizing just watching all the stuff happen in real time. Down the side here, there's a single button which allows you to rotate the display with a double click, or if you long press, you can move through a kind of menu system. And to top it off, I think this might be the most see-through device of the whole bunch. It's a genuinely exquisite piece of engineering. Well done, Doc Case. Next up, the phone. Now I am happily rocking a fragile titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is not see-through. So this last feature is kind of a cheeky mod, which maybe stretches the idea of transparent tech a bit. And I'm gonna use two things to make this effect both believable and sustainable. Let me explain. Dbrand are a US company who sell vinyl skins for pretty much any device. I've covered their stuff on the channel before and still they refuse to sponsor any of my videos, but you know what? I love what they do, so you know, I'm not bitter about it. Yeah, I'm not bitter at all. Well, they recently released a new skin called Teardown, which they made in collaboration with Jerry Rig Everything, which if you didn't know, are a YouTube channel who have a bit of a habit of ripping tech to pieces to see what's inside. So with this skin, you can install it on your lovely Apple device to give this wonderful see-through effect. And as well as adding a bit of character to your phone, it's also a great way of keeping everything scratch-free when it comes to upgrade time. Although if you drop your phone, especially this phone, with this on, that skin is gonna do very little to protect the titanium case. So I've comboed this skin with a see-through case from Keisaku for a double see-through look that is going to keep my device looking pristine. This is their Cloud Cush case which gives this excellent rubberized bumpers, nice tactile button access including for the new action button, a nice raised camera lens protection, and my favourite feature, this magnetic ring which pulls out and lets you prop your phone up for calls, watching videos and so on. This also lets through a charge so you can use it safely with MagSafe accessories. There we go folks, I've scoured the internet for the best see-through tech I could find and these were the best in the bunch. Which was your favourite? Let me know down in the comments. Now there was actually one more device I wanted to show you. There was this new kind of transparent drone but I was testing it out and I lost sight of it ages ago and I think I've got no chance of getting it back anymore. Let me know if you see it anywhere. Now if you like this I bet you will love this next video that's coming up which is about a new piece of AI driven tech that's so transparent you don't even need a screen. Take a look, let me know what you think. Oh, 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 oh,